In this video, you are going to separate and detect the unknown sugar using paper chromatography. So the required materials are Sample A, Sample B, in this case is glucose and fructose. Sample B, fructose, unknown sample, solvent solution, alkaline permanganate, water filter paper, syringe, etc. and whole chair oven. Reagents include butanol, acetic acid, and water. The ratio 4 is to 1 is to 5. So take the waterman filter paper, draw a horizontal line at the interval of 3 cm. Place three spots. Introduce sample A on one spot. Sample B on another spot. The unknown sample on another spot. So paper chromatography is a partition chromatography. So fold the paper edge and place it on the solvent solution such that so the solvent can move upwards due to capillary action. So alkaline take the alkaline permanganate solution and straight all along the paper. So usually, usually paper chromatography is inexpensive and is widely used to detect colorants to detect unpermitted food colors and here now we can place it in the oven and at 30 to 50 degrees centigrade for a few minutes after drying it we can take it out and you can see the difference in migration on the paper different Samples migrate differently, unlike sample migrate in an equal way. So based upon the vessel, the order of value is distance traveled by sugar, a distance traveled by solvent from the origin. Sample A is glucose, sample fractals, what order of value is calculated. Now the unknown sample or if value is calculated and is similar to glucose. So from the this vessel, the given unknown sample carbohydrate is found to be